guys, good morning. My darling husband is here cooking. We're at my cousin's house right now who lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And of course, my husband's throwing down in the kitchen. He's making breakfast for us. How's it going, Sam? Very Hi. slow, I'm not familiar with the kitchen. Yeah, kind of difficult trying to find your way around somebody else's kitchen. Yeah. But you're getting it done, right? Slowly but surely. So what are you making this morning? Biscuits, gravy. I've got the homemade biscuits in the oven. We've got the gravy here on the stove. I'm um, getting ready to make some scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. I don't have any cayenne pepper. I would like to put cayenne in it. Can and we the, see uh, gravy? Can we see a biscuit? Boy, you want to open the oven? You're not supposed to do that. Oh no! I'm sorry. Not bad. Yeah, you are bad. <laughs> All right, so looking forward to having breakfast and then we're gonna go and see if we could see a few family members and see who else we can see while we're here. All right, see you later. Welcome back to this channel. Welcome back to this channel. Anyway, guys, we're here still in Atlanta, Georgia, evacuated from Florida uh, from Hurricane Irma. And we've got quite a few family members here. So right now we're at my sister's house and here's her beautiful daughter, Elon. I'm the oldest, there's two more, Eden and Alyssa. Yeah, so we're just visiting them. They have a very beautiful home. So we're just hanging out here for a little bit. I pray for all those people out there that's in Hurricane Irma and that's staying at their home because it's gonna be really bad. I have something to say. I hope you always home have is something right. to say. You hope home is all right? <laughs> I do too. I hope home is alright too. Yeah, we're going to be praying for everyone and everyone here, everyone that's in Florida, Tennessee, anyone that's going to be hit and been affected. You know, I hope everyone else is okay. Yeah. 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 What about you, Sam? What about me? What about you? What about you, Sam? I don't know. I'm just here to drive. <laughs> you say when, you say where. And you're just here to drive? Anyway, yeah, my sister's having a meeting at her house right now, so right now we're just sitting here, just hanging out. Hi, Cloudy. Yeah. Hi. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you guys too. How's the weather over there? It's windy. It's, the wind is getting a little stronger, so but the rain's like not coming down that hard, but it's mm -hmm. coming down like kind of hard. But oh boy, how long before it actually reaches you? It's supposed to be tonight. It's so supposed to be reaching Tampa, so Tampa. Pero tú eres dominicana, tú hablas español. Sí. ¿Y dónde es tu familia? De Santiago. Ay, bien, me encanta Santiago, me queda ahí mucho. Sí, está heavy ahí. Sí, yo vivo normalmente en el norte, en GH, Gas Fernández, pero mis primos estudian allá en, en Santiago, entonces me queda ahí y me encanta Santiago. Y yo fui Santo Domingo una vez, está heavy, pero es mejor en Santiago. This is interesting. This is interesting because Elon <laughs> wait 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 Elon taught herself how to speak Spanish fluently. Yeah. Just she was trying to say goodbye to you. Oh. Oh. Was she? Yeah. Wait, Oh, yes, yeah, Sam just told me we're trying to say goodbye. Here's my beautiful niece, Eden. Hi. Let me give you a hug. She's got to go. Where are you going to work? I have to go work on some homework. Oh, okay. When are you coming back? A couple hours. A couple hours? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All righty. Have fun then. Be careful. Have a nice car too. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go back in. Come on, guys. I actually understand all of this. This is like um, normal greeting stuff. That's why I said saying a story. I can tell you that story about my life. I can tell you that story. Yeah, no, Grandma Ninja. 
She doesn't know Grandma Ninja. Pero yo puedo decirte una historia. Yo tengo 24 años, me llamo Leilu. Yo vivo aquí en Atlanta, Georgia, pero paso más o menos cinco meses al año en la ropa dominicana. Yo aprendí español aquí en Estados Unidos, pero también en la ropa dominicana. Y yo practiqué aquí con mexicanos porque todo mexicano vive en Atlanta. Ay, es verdad, es verdad. Y si tú hablas español, todo el mundo piensa que tú eres mexicano. Y tú vives acá. Y no, ¿qué, más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Sam, what she is she saying? She says uh, she's from Georgia. <laughs> you said you went to the Dominican Republic for five months, right? Yes, I spent about five months. You spent five months there, and then she said she came back, here. and then she's like, she's American, but she's. Speak Spanish. Speak so Spanish. if you're you in Atlanta Spanish. and so you you're speak Mexican. Spanish, they call you Mexican. Exactly, so like that's my, what she was saying. My, my boss would be that like, oh, you're going to the Dominican Republic? Yeah, what part of Mexico is that again? Is that like the South? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes, that's the part that's South of Mexico, so real South. Yeah, so that's <laughs> crazy how There's no Spanish here. Ah. You speak Mexican. Did you get that she was saying that, Mama? Everybody. Did you get that she was saying that? Yeah, I understand it. It's crazy. I, I can understand, but I can't. I, you know what? I can. I can actually I read Spanish way better oh, than I under, because some people speak a lot faster speak, than and others. They slang and yeah, in a different countries. Right. Like when right. I first first came back from the Dominican Republic and came to work at this job with a bunch of Mexican people, and the guy spoke to me. I was like, okay, so one of us speaks Spanish, and it ain't you. <laughs> I don't understand a word. <laughs> And then you hear them talking, you okay, different accents, different places have different, you know, different words they use, mm -hmm. and then you can learn. But you have yeah. to like listen to them for a minute, and then, because this one guy, he came to work with us, he's from Uruguay, and he said, Porsche, Porsche this, and he used to use instead with younger people. I did not understand any of that. I was like, Uncle, what he just say? And then he said, Pollo, which is chicken. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. really? The word for Pollo is Porsche. Wow. And word for if, you, if you talk to like a Puerto Rican person, their Spanish is really, really slang too. Yeah, they Dominican and Puerto really, Ricans, they're like this. They're like this. Their Spanish is so close. Like if a Dominican or Cuban or Puerto Rican were talking, no problem. And you get somebody from Peru. And you're just like, oh, great. I like Oh, great. Because we need to translate. Portuguese over there, but it's cool. Yeah. But if you listen to them, like, it'll take 20 minutes. You listen to them, you're like, okay, I get what they're doing, and then you can pick it up. But you don't want to speak like them. You're like, okay. I'm going to still speak the way I do, but I know what you're saying. Yeah. And Spain, they're so easy to understand. They got that little cry accent. They got the basis. They have, like, that's the... Colombians talk like they're crying. Dude, you swear they sat all the time. So like, well, what's up? What's wrong? What's wrong? They literally. Right. <laughs> oh they boy. Be completely happy, but yeah, it's good. It's good to learn Spanish. Yeah. yeah Guys, Katie, you should be inspired by this. Alan taught herself how to speak Spanish. Yeah. You see how fluent she is with it. Dude, what do you know? Yes. Yes, and agua. Agua? That's water. That's really good. She said gracias and agua. Gracias, yeah. At least in Atlanta. Atlanta, it's good because I feel like Florida is more mixed and more aware of like Latino culture here, or people from different countries. Yeah. So they're more aware. You come to Atlanta, you black, you white, and if you foreign, everybody from Asia is Chinese here. Everybody who speaks Spanish is Mexican here. And if you're just black and you're not American, you're African. Like, don't even care. Yes. Africa is a whole country, not a continent here. Like, it's legit. They don't care if you're from Puerto Rico, Argentina, it's all in Mexico. China is the whole I Asia. So, you, you know, you just get to know around people. So, I work at a restaurant, and then people always just assume you speak Spanish. And so you have to learn. Like I felt like I was necessary. No, I, it is good to learn. Like your job opportunities. I don't yeah. Money. I, don't I, don't I make bank from serving Spanish people. Hmm. Our menu is Spanish. I th I'll take it's our, not hard. Like I can take someone's order. Like I'm not gonna speak back to them in Spanish, but I can take their order if they're speaking to me. Yeah. yeah. Because like it's simple. I'll be like, oh, number uno. Okay, so americano, pepper jack, Kobe jack. Some of them just assume that you speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. I think people assume that I'm um, from the Dominican Republic. This lady came up to me and she started speaking to me in Spanish. I guess she must have looked at Joshua and Charlie and all of a sudden she just like was speaking to me like I was her best friend. You can listen to them, you can understand what they're saying, but I said you can't speak as fast. Right. I can't speak as fast, but I understood exactly what she said. And I, I don't know if y'all can see in this little light. Hold on, I got y'all. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> Get you on. He's like, I need a haircut. But... Kitty, make sure you zoom in on these. <laughs> they say Irma wasn't supposed to touch down until later today. It already touched down on my head. I don't know. He's about, he's about 90 foot waves on my head right now. <laughs> 
all the all the civilians that were living in my head, they're washed away. I'm telling you that one. I don't know if y'all you, you got the good angle on it. Be careful, the storm surge in my head is getting crazy. <laughs> Mm. I'm telling them, they don't like nobody coming over, so they, if I take them out, they'll be like, I mean, they're nice, but they're just like, well, who are you? Why are you here? I told them the other day. The aggressive face was nothing. Mom, Mom, you see what you're doing? You went in the other garage.